It's our annual review. Ugh. And you didn't do very good this year. Ugh. <laughs> you were gonna start. <laughs> we just talked about it. You said you're gonna start. I'm dreading this. <laughs> it happens every year. <laughs> I dread it every year. Ugh. So oh, can we start okay. over? Hi everyone. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'm David. And I'm Sandra, and Happy New Year. We had a great, uh, great holidays with the we uh, did. grandchildren. We did. But man. It's time to get out of the cold. We were in northern Alabama, and it's just, that was just too much. Yes. So we're heading south. Yes. Down into Florida. Yeah, we're going to do some boondocking for oh, yeah. four weeks. That's straight. nice. Straight in a row yeah yeah though we're not starting off the new year on the right foot no we're not you we, know you know we we did hit one of the cardinal sins oh we said we wouldn't do these things and we keep yeah. doing them we, we're just breaking our new year's resolutions all over again so I, we just need to throw them out the window that's all there is to it so but we went through downtown atlanta which isn't bad. Not bad. Except it was Friday, Friday five o'clock rush hour. Yeah. But I'm glad because we could really enjoy the beautiful skyline. It was a gorgeous day. Got to go nice and slow. Took lots of pictures. Yes. Yeah. You got some uh, great uh, footage of uh, the airplanes, airplanes. Yeah. Flying We're, right over us. Yeah. So that was really cool. So. We didn't start the new year off right, but it was really cool anyhow. Yeah, it was a nice, slow, relaxing trip through Atlanta. Yes, it was. The, the scenic route. <laughs> uh, but now we're down here in Florida. It's getting warmer and warmer. And to do, like I said, do some boondocking for the next 10 days. And then we're going to head to the Tampa show. Yes. So we hope to meet everybody there. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. So as we get closer in the next week or two, then um, you'll put some stuff up like on the community board or whatever that thing's called. So yeah, try and do it a little different this year and, and kind of get yeah, not spend any money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last year was kind of expensive. It was really expensive. That was an expensive show. Man, 2022 mm -hmm. was kind of expensive for us. It was. Yeah. So, but I'm not sure how expensive it was. Well, when we get settled in this afternoon, I'm gonna pull out the laptop and I'll tell you exactly what we spent this last year. Yeah. It wasn't pretty. She's probably gonna yell at me. Yes. All right, who called this meeting? I did. Uh, it's the annual review. Not looking forward to it. You of course shouldn't. I never do. You shouldn't, but this year you were especially bad. I was. So David sets the budget and I make sure we, we stick to the budget. Yeah, but we had a fun year. <laughs> we did. Woo! Oh, no hands on the top. I like, like it. it. Oh! But before we really go into our expenses, we should probably share with everybody what our travel style is. We have wheels, we have tires. <laughs> and we like them to roll. We'll, and it's how we travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people, some people do these, this 3-3-3, three, three, mm -hmm. three, the 2-2-2, two, two, two. you know, you, you drive two hours and then you, you know, stop at a rest area. Uh, if you stop, uh, drive no more than two or three hundred miles a day and then you stop for two days. And we don't, we don't do that. No. Um, it kind of depends on how we feel at mm -hmm. the time. We're also not the road warriors. We used to be, but mm -hmm. we're settled down. We, we have goals. And one of those goals is not to drive 800 miles a day, but we have yeah. been known to do that, you know, for the birth of one of our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. We like to be at or near the destination. And a lot of times that means, you know, like, like staying, you know, national parks. Um, and mm -hmm. obviously that can be a challenge for you trying to find spots near. Yeah, especially with our size. Exactly. Uh, we have some limitations. Right. Major points of interest. And, and David is the trip planner. So we talk, you know, 50,000 foot level. And he's the one that irons out all the details and finds all these amazing places for us to stay at. And go over budget. 
and go, yeah, go way over budget sometimes. But even like the time we stayed in downtown Chicago, um, mm -hmm. that was just amazing. That was fun. Um, yeah, but you know, not only from downtown Chicago, we like to boondock. And again, when we're boondocking, we're not just going out um, out in the middle of nowhere just to hang out. Of course, that would be really nice sometimes. <laughs> and that's what we're, we're supposed trying to be to doing do now. Yeah, we're trying to do that this time. Yeah, you're not doing so good. Yeah. Um, but we like to stay near destinations, national parks and that sort of thing. Yep. When we're national talking. historic sites, exactly. uh, places to see and do. Yeah. And the other thing that really impacts our travel style is we don't like to sit in any one place for too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we volunteered at uh, Yellowstone. Yeah a couple years ago and for the National Park Service. Loved it, mm -hmm. had four months at mm -hmm. Yellowstone. Okay. Uh, great schedule. We worked two days, we were off for four. Uh -huh. But <laughs> man, and we were busy. Yeah. We saw Yellowstone. We uh, did, I mean, every inch of Yellowstone, I took, I don't know, 50,000 pictures. Oh man, that was just the first weekend, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but we had a great time, but we discovered that we got hitch itch into that third month yeah. and that fourth month we're ready to go yeah. we enjoy traveling mm -hmm. and just to give you guys an idea um, I've got some numbers here obviously I love my spreadsheets spreadsheet queen <laughs> over here yeah. so in 2022 we had 79 stops so that means we were at a different place seven we we're at 79 different places last year um, of those 37 were in transit, meaning, and we did several coast to coast trips this year. Mm -hmm. Weren't planning on it, no. but you know, we also weren't planning on the the extra grandchild either. <laughs> yeah, um, and so, and that was 47% of the time. And then the destination stops. So we had, you planned out 42 great destinations this year. I really, really enjoyed them, but we'll get into those costs a little bit later. Ooh in transit stops those are typically one night mm -hmm. the most we've ever stayed again grandchild uh, was 37 nights um, but typically on average for 2022 our average went down so that's not good it was five nights man I was trying to hit seven yeah <sighs> gotta have goals right gotta have goals yeah so next year Next year, <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Uh, that's and, well, this year we're in 2023 now. Oh, that's right. And this year this we're going year. to Alaska. Oh yeah. So we're there's gonna, no way we're going to yeah, average we're gonna, seven. We're going to probably average three nights, I'm guessing. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but anyhow, so for this year we we traveled uh, 19,526 miles. That's a little down for us. That is down. Yeah. Are we, we average about 20, 21,000 miles. Yeah. But yeah. that means maybe you're planning our trips a little bit better. I'm being more efficient. You're being more efficient. On the route. Yes. So with that, what do you think we spent the most money on this year? Hmm. <laughs> the most. Yes. What well, I gotta, was our number one expense? Yeah, I got to believe with this thing sitting behind me, it's got to be fuel. A 43,000 pound trailer. Yeah, I got to believe it's fuel ding, ding, is ding. the number one. Yes. Very good. So how much do you think we spent? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing six to seven thousand dollars. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's typically what, we, what we've been averaging over the last, the previous six years. But I'm so efficient in my route planning. You, you are. Okay, so let me give you some hints. Our dollars per mile from 2021 mm -hmm. to 2022 All right. went up over 50%. Ooh. 40 cents per mile to 68 cents per mile. Oh man, okay. yeah. That, those fuel and price increases. Yes, and our average dollars per gallon went from 279 to 449. Ooh, the average. The average. Oh, but man. the most we ever paid this year was five dollars and ninety three cents. Ow! Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So you, kept it below six. We kept six. it below six, yeah. and that was, I think, between the TSD card and some of the the smaller yeah. mom and pop places and using. And the other thing is, I don't factor in that five percent rebate that we get from Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. So that's just the the raw 
price that we pay. Yeah, that we actually pay at the pump. Right, so our actual fuel cost this year, mm. are you ready? Ooh, man, it's gonna be big. $11,800. Oh. Ow! Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's not I good. Was, I was like. You were way off. I was way off. You were like way off. I was way off and by almost half. And you're the one that's pumping. You should yeah. know that. You're like But those high right flow there. pumps, it goes by so quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but just to let everybody know, when we set up our budget back in 2015, we mm -hmm. planned on $8,000 a year for fuel. So over that six years, that's $48,000. Uh, $39,000 was our actual, almost $40,000. So we, we've essentially had a little over an $8,000 okay. surplus. So yeah, since this, we started full time. Exactly. So dipped into it, we still have about a $5,000 surplus. Yeah, right. So, More good but, trips. But, listen up, that does not mean you can go crazy in Alaska this summer. You heard it. Yeah. All right. What's our second most biggest expense? Second most expense. I feel like we're like expense. on David Letterman or something. Yeah, really. Correction. Top 10. The top um, 10. Biggest, uh, camper nights. No. <sighs> Man. Okay, what's behind I us? I was on a roll. What's behind us? Yeah, it's a big old trailer. And? And a truck. And a truck. Yeah. Voyager. Vo uh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so we spent, so every year, we bought Voyager new. Yep. Voyager's seven and a half years old. Yep. And been a good truck. It's been phenomenal. And we haven't had any expenses, you know, other than little things, less than fifty dollars a year. Yeah, it's been it, really we've just changed the oil and right. that's been it. And our annual PMs average about six hundred dollars a year, which is what it was this year. We're yep. right on budget. It used to be four hundred. It was, and yeah. it's it's gone up, but we knew it was going to go yep. up. We were, but we, but you know, we did a forty-year budget back in two thousand fifteen, and yeah. so far we're actually doing pretty good. Yeah, that's um, good. So we, we we're pretty good guessers. Um, the other thing that happened this year was a hundred fifty thousand mile checkup. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So the when the truck a, just got broken in, <laughs> seven years. <laughs> We've only owned three vehicles before this. And they, we owned them up until almost 20 years old. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so we take care of them, do a lot of preventive do. maintenance. So we had the 150,000 mile preventive maintenance, which was the valve adjustment and mm -hmm. the cab shocks. Oh, yeah. Um, we had the repairs done. So the windows, the, the top bunk windows. Yeah, we had the bad, the seals were going bad. And yeah. they said that does happen. <laughs> yeah. You know, dry rot and such. Yeah. And so from a repair standpoint, we had that, the yeah. TPMS sensor, yeah, the and turn then the, signal. Um, the turn signal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, electrical. Um, exactly. So we had that expense, and we we knew at some point in time we were going to have to spend some money. Yeah. And when we started talking to all the HD tiers that were out there, they said plan, you know, set aside ten thousand dollars. So that's mm -hmm. really a startup cost. So and that's what we did. We yep. put ten thousand dollars into a savings account, and um, and we we budget about six hundred dollars a year. Mm -hmm. In in repairs, yeah. not maintenance, but repairs. Yeah. Yeah. So again, we're we're dipping into it a little bit, but mm -hmm. because we do a lot of preventive maintenance, I don't foresee any major like engines blowing up. Right. Exactly. I, I don't either. I mean, yeah. uh, so we should be good for another few years, maybe. Yeah. So hopefully, we won't go negative in that savings yeah. account. And seven years are coming up. We need to start thinking about tires. We Ugh. have a separate budget for tires. Man. And the plan is to just change an axle a year, starting from the front, yeah. moving our way back. And we we've got already five done axles. The steers. Yeah, and so we've changed the steers already. Yeah, um, that's right. So, so one down. We have to decide what we're going to do. Are we going to do it before, mm. or after Alaska? Yeah. Uh, this year, next year. Oof. It's just um, so. I don't know. We got to look at it. Look at the age and and the tread. And exactly. Such. Yeah, so. Exactly. Look at what's coming up. Oh yeah. Is this law enforcement? There's three. Um, yeah, I think so. Three law enforcement yeah, people. They're, they're going after the uh, the unoccupied vehicles. Oh yeah, they may want to see uh, our uh, permit. Do you have to print it out? Um, I think I can just show them on the phone, which okay. <laughs> I don't have my phone. So those guys have left. This guy hasn't <coughs> been here since we got here, and that guy just showed up. And yeah. He just dropped his trailer and left. Yep. Oh, those are police. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're going around checking. Yeah, wow. Okay. Okay. So anyhow, what was our third highest expense? Camper nights. Ah. Phone, TV, and internet. Oh, man. We spent $5,800. Oh. For I don't even watch that much TV. No, you don't. Wow. So, um, so in the beginning, we had just AT&T. And That's because expensive. Of, yeah. And because of Yellowstone, we, we took on Verizon. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted so, to break it up. So yeah. one of us has AT&T, and you have Verizon. Mm -hmm. That's true. It makes sense. Though. And then for an additional coverage, we have T-Mobile. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, and then we got Starlink. Yep. And then we dropped the satellite dish, so you're not you're now streaming TV, which Correct. you probably watched I don't know five hours of TV in the last year yeah. I think. Yeah. But um, a campfire is our TV. Yeah, really. Um, so so yeah, we're averaging four hundred and ninety dollars a month. Wow, wow. So. Yeah, of course you know we got that uh, Verizon Visible sort of a backup. Yeah. Um, probably could get rid of that because I haven't used that in, mm -hmm. man, a long time. That's almost $500. Nine months. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't, I, we just don't watch a lot of TV, so no. we stream more stuff. So I could probably get rid of Sling, too. Yeah, it's $600 a month. Yeah. So. Very Not a good. month. That's a year. We need to have more sessions. Yeah, really. <laughs> so I can plan more trips. <laughs> but you do need internet. Okay. So, yeah, there, there, that might be $1,000 savings there for next year. Good job. Woo. All right. Expense number four. Man. Well, I've been wrong on camper nights all the time. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say Orion, our trailer. No. Man. No. Taxes, tags, insurance, registration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about insurance. <laughs> yeah. Well, you only pay it once a year. Yeah. But man, it hurts when you do. It does. And, you know, that is such a personal number yes. that is very, 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 very unique to a person's situation and circumstances. Oh, yeah. I mean, the cost of your equipment, the year of it. Yeah. Uh, where you're at, where you're domiciled. Where you're domiciled, yeah. So for our particular situation, mm -hmm. um, we're at $5,300 a year. <clears throat> Again, that's for registration, for the tags, for insurance, taxes, and all that stuff. Yep. Yeah, for so, our setup. For our um, whole setup. Yeah. We're, yeah, domiciled out of Texas. So. Yeah. So, okay. it is what it is. Yeah, that makes can't, sense. Can't do anything about that. No. Okay. So, number five. Number five. Camper nights. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. So, yeah, uh, camper nights, well, we have several different membership fees. Mm -hmm. We have Thousand Trails, Harvest Hose, Passport America, and Good Sam's. Yep. And if you combine all those membership fees, which I include in our camper night mm -hmm. um, budget, um, that's $700. And we spent 120 nights total amongst the, the membership groups. So our membership fees okay. themselves were $700. Yep. And then we spent a total of $4,100 in camper nights this year. Oh, we had fun. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> um, so, but if you take the, the $4,100 plus the $700, um, that averaged $13 per night and $390 per month. Okay. So, so that's actually pretty good. That's not bad on a monthly basis when you look at and it. And that also includes utilities, like whether we have to pay for extra electricity, which we've ne we've not had to do that for like two or three years since Tombstone. Yeah, yeah, and that's right. And then that includes propane. That includes if we're boondocking and we have to go dump and fill someplace, mm -hmm. that all gets rolled up into the camper night fee, and um, which was the $4,100. But every year, I mean, that's a lot. For me, that's that's a lot. Yeah. I, I don't like that number. That is. We need to get it down. Yeah, because we really tried to budget, I guess, down to $10 a night. Mm -hmm. But, man, that one, Ventura Beach? Yeah. 
That was we, a nice campground. Yeah, we, we have outliers. Damn. So this last year, yeah, it was Ventura Beach, and that was almost $1,200. Yeah, but the location yeah, right was. on the beach, it on was. the bike path, Ventura, California. It was really nice. It was really nice. Yeah, and the funny thing is, and then we stayed at Blue Water Key down in Florida. Oh, yeah, that was like that a year or two ago. That was super expensive. That was and really nice, in Disney though. Fort Wilderness, we stayed there. That was really expensive. Yeah, that's fun, but that's really expensive. It is. And, you know, it's funny is I think the more expensive place that you stay, the smaller the site. <laughs> so if you look at dollars per so. square feet of a site, oh my goodness, it's out, it's crazy. It's crazy, it yeah, is. it really is. Yeah, so we had Ventura, yeah. we had uh, our family camping trip in Pigeon Forge, and that was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, so that was an inexpensive <laughs> campground, relatively speaking, for Pigeon Forge. But I was, was amazed. It was $526 for the week. But it was still week. expensive, that's, yeah. That's expensive for us. Yeah. And then when we go to rallies, you know, we don't have any choice in that. That was yep. $516, and yep. we stayed a couple of extra nights so that that made it a little bit more yeah and then well, that was fun with a rally <laughs> it was and then crater lake was the next most expensive place and that was 332 dollars oh, yeah but that was a really um, pretty campground it was that but was we found a place to boondock yeah. next time yes. when we go to Crater so, Lake. Yeah, next time we go to Crater Lake, we're definitely boondocking. We're not going to be spending that three hundred dollars. No. So that that was a bit much. Um, so that's where we spent a lot of money at, and mm -hmm. um, some of the other places that we stayed at, we spent 85 nights at Thousand Trails. So that's up, because we've been averaging about 70. Yep. This time it was um, at 85, yep. and we actually that's had to spend good. money at Thousand Trails. So even though we're paying for our membership, we had to spend $63 for a 50-amp hookup. Yeah, there's a few campgrounds that will charge you what they call a resort fee if you're a 50-amp uh, hookup. Yeah. Uh, not a lot, but there mm -hmm. are some. Yeah, so we, we had that. And then the other interesting thing is this time, we normally boondock about 40% of the time mm -hmm. at a destination. Yep. Um, this time, we only boondock 25% of the time. Mm -hmm. Now, a yeah. lot of that had to do with, you know, family. Yep, yep. Um, going had, back to Alabama Exactly. And such. But even though you're boondocking, and a lot of people think when you boondock, it's for free. Yeah. And boondocking isn't always free. At not least always. not how we're, we're budgeting for it. Because yeah. this year, or in 2022, we spent $280 in campground fees for boondocking. That was the Tampa RV show. And that was actually more, that was pretty Oh expensive. man, that was more expensive than that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we've stayed at campgrounds where we'll boondock in an overflow area. Oh yeah. Um, like Pima County Fairgrounds exactly, in Tucson. Exactly. You have the option of full hookup or dry camping. Right. So that, that was, That's right. we had that expense. And then at Mount Rainier, we stayed in the parking oh, lot. Oh yeah, at the a, ski resort. At the ski resort. Yeah, because so the airport wouldn't fit us. It was closed. It was closed. It was yeah, closed. that was a bummer. But that was really a, that was a neat place. That was uh, mm -hmm. Crystal Mountain. That it was really was. neat. And then Quartzsite, you know, you pay the forty dollars for the yep. one hundred eighty days or whatever it is. Well, it's uh, or for it's a. Uh, $40 uh, oh, for, for two every weeks. two weeks, right. yeah, or that's 180 right. for the season. Yeah. Um, but that's in the uh, special permit area. You can, there's a lot of free camping mm -hmm. in Quartzsite, um, but sometimes it's more convenient to have the dump and fill right there. Exactly. And also, the other thing that we include in camper nights are permits. Um, That's right. So sometimes, you know, when we go to Port Aransas, Texas, yep. you have to get a permit for that, yep. an annual permit. And here we're at a Florida Wildlife Management, yep. and you had to buy a permit for that. So that, uh, you know, at the end of the year, I'll take all those permits and I'll amortize it over the camper nights. Mm -hmm. And so it, it ends up being like three to four dollars a night, which isn't all that much. Um, so the other expense that we have that's not included in the camper nights <clears throat> is the harvest host. And we paid $575 in patronage buying stuff at these Harvest Hosts. Now, now that's not the Harvest Host membership fee. No. <laughs> that's just us patronizing uh, these exactly. uh, really cool businesses. And and we don't use Harvest Hosts for in transit because that all get, gets rolled up under destination. I mean, you're picking these Harvest Hosts because they look like they're 
something of that we have interested in that looks like it might be a cool place, like yes. museums. We yep. did the Air Museum. Yeah, out in Texas. Uh, where we got to park on a tarmac. That was pretty cool. That was really cool. The Tractor Museum. Yep. And farms. I really enjoy the farms. Um, oh, like yeah. The animals. Yeah, Frog um, Hollow Farms. Frog Hollow. That was got really some neat. great produce there. Yeah. The Lavender Farm. That was oh, really yeah. nice. That smelled good. And then. Um, she didn't know about that. No, I didn't know about that, unfortunately. And then, you know, the animals. I like the animal ones where we've got, you know, we did the alpaca. Yeah, you I, spent a lot there. I did. That, I don't know how much of that 575 was, but I did a lot of Christmas shopping at that alpaca farm. And, and they were cute. They were, oh, they were Hard so Hard to cute. resist. Yeah, they are really adorable. And because they just shared them and it just, they were so cute. But restaurants like Apple Annie's. Um, oh yeah, oh, we, great pies. Yeah, we like to follow the food, obviously. And uh, we did Peggy Sue's Diner for oh, yeah. some nostalgia. That was really good yeah. food. And that was good mm -hmm. food. And, and and uh, 50s kind of Elvis yeah. uh, motif going on. Exactly. It was cool. And the, the pizza at Annalier Winery, that was so good. That was really good. Really, that really blueberry good. And, and arugula, arugula goat and goat pizza. cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that, that was, was good. That was good, yeah. And then of course, Greycliff Mills, that was, oh. that's like the best. That yeah. was really, really that cool. That was unbelievable. And so you used to play golf. You probably still could. I mean, we do top golf. Yeah. Um, but the, I think one of the other coolest places that we've been was oh, yeah. the golf course. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the owner actually let us to get to the number T, three T? The number three T, where we could fit. Uh, <laughs> he let us drive on the golf course Down to the fairway. get there. Yeah, to get to the number three T, where it was nice and level, yeah. a great lake view, and mm -hmm. it was. Really a that, cool place. That was really cool. Yeah, when we go to Harvest House, it's about the destination, mm -hmm. and, but it always is with us anyhow. Okay, so I know we were only going to do the top five, but we did have one other major expense, which was out of the ordinary, mm. that I think we need to bring up. So what do you think that was? Well, since we haven't really talked about it yet, I'm going to guess that it's Orion. Orion sitting behind me here. Yeah. Yeah, because it had to have been, because I fixed the dryer like three, three times. times. And then we finally broke down and bought, we had finally had to buy a dryer. Yeah. So the funny thing is, we took video of all of this. David oh. has all of this in his little archive that he's hoarding. So if you Trying all- Trying to forget about it. Yeah, so if you all want to see, have him put the video together, and post that video, be sure to make a comment. Oh, of the dryer repair? Of the dryer oh. repair, the, the saga, the 10 month long saga of that Orion's was, dryer. That was like the story that would never end. <laughs> we finally got to the root cause. Yeah, we did. And and figured it out, but uh -huh. it was too late. We had to get a, a new dryer. Yeah, so oh. between the dryer parts and the shipping and buying a dryer. Oh, and, um, and we, you know, we're not in one place. So we were like in Quartzsite. Oh, we we're, were at everywhere. our daughter's driveway. We're out down in Texas. And we're like everywhere, you know, and, and this thing keeps breaking down and oh, grr. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, y'all saw last week the airlines, um, that whole fiasco cost about $575. Um, and then we, we did go to spacecraft, as you again saw last week, we had some repairs done and some upgrades. Um, so with all that being said, we did spend $4,100 um, in 2022 with repairs on Orion. Oh, so, really? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep, $4,100. So hopefully that'll be it. We yep. won't see that again this next year. Yeah, because we really hadn't spent hardly anything in the previous uh, couple of years, three exactly. years. So, okay. I can buy that. Mm -hmm. I think we've covered everything, but there is, um, there is one little white elephant in the room. Mm. I'm not sure what yeah she's talking about um so you know everybody's lifestyle is different you know how much you spend on groceries and entertainment eating out medical gifting charity and all that other stuff mm -hmm. that that's really personal but i would like to share how much we spent on eating out because one we went over budget yeah we did and uh we spent twenty four hundred dollars oh. eating out that's two hundred dollars a month yeah that and is a little high for that's us. very high for us because our budget's about a hundred dollars a month eating yep. out um 
and 600 of that was Whataburger. Ah. So. This the, little cup. Yeah. So the reason I'm bringing this up. But that was worth it. Is. At like even twice the price. <laughs> There's probably not a single video that we put out where there's not a Whataburger cup in it or he's not wearing a Whataburger t-shirt. And That's my true. mom actually asked us, she said, are you sponsored by Whataburger? And the answer is absolutely no. Yeah, we've actually been asked that before. And, and we're, we're not. We're not, we're not sponsored not by anybody. You would love to be sponsored oh, by man. Whataburger. Oh, man, yeah, free Whataburgers for life. Yeah, yeah. but... but in David's self-defense, um, we have the Whataburger app, so every five visits we get a free drink oh, or yeah. fries or onion rings or yeah. something. So that helps on to reduce the cost. And whenever you go and you get a receipt on yep. the bottom of it, every fifth receipt seems like there's a free Whataburger. Yeah. And how many, you've got like I got seven, seven of them now. stockpiled surveys. I do. So when we do go to Whataburger, you have to buy a, fi a fry and a drink and yep. you get a free burger. Yeah, so um, I always get a free burger. Yeah, I eat the chicken or a Can't salad. Can't beat that. No, so, so I'm bringing that up because uh, I just want people to know <laughs> that, I don't say I'm embarrassed, but I want people to know that we're well, being sponsored. Okay, so. My issue is this cup, in essence. Mm -hmm. Her issue is what's in the <laughs> cup. Okay, you got me there. Yeah, I, I have issues. I, well, I have many of them, but I, I do love fountain drinks. And when we were in Alaska in 2017, I went four months without a fountain drink because I'm not a big fan of, you know, bottled or canned soda. I like it fountain. I like it's bubblier and, and I just I like and I like it in a foam cup too. Mm -hmm. So when we built Orion we had a commercial fountain machine put in and hold on. I'll tell you what we spent on it. It's a big number. <laughs> it's no it's not. <laughs> Maybe a little bit bigger than what you spend in Whataburger. It's bigger than Whataburger. But okay, so for syrup, for the syrup boxes, the bag in the box, um, we're just shy of thirteen hundred dollars for the year, <clears throat> and the CO2 canisters was one hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's not and, bad. And um, and the when we go like when we're out and about, and you know, I want to, I need a, a soda for the day, and we'll pay you know the the dollar fifty or two dollars at you know mm -hmm. a convenience store. We spent forty dollars in that for so, the whole year. For the whole year. Yeah. So when it was all said so and done, it was about fifteen hundred dollars, and that's that's four dollars a day. Yeah. So, so not too bad. There, there are worse habits to have. There are worse habits. So, you know, we'll take it. Yeah. We'll take it. <laughs> so anyhow, you know, we, we thought we'd like to share what our, our main expenses are that, you know, a lot of other RVers uh, have. Yeah. And this, is, this lifestyle is, mm -hmm. the great thing about it is that it is so adaptable yeah. and flexible to whatever the individual mm -hmm. uh, wants to do. Mm -hmm. And so what our expenses are going to be different than anyone else's expenses. And that's yeah. what's kind of cool about this lifestyle yeah. is that it, it's tailored uh, to what you want to do or don't want to do. So mm -hmm. we just thought that for us, mm -hmm. uh, some people might be interested that we thought we'd share that. Yeah. As we sit here, not paying anything <laughs> really? at a wildlife management area. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So you'll be seeing that video in a couple of weeks, but for next week, yep. we'll see you at Tampa. Yep.